Oh baby! Welcome to Taco Pops, my friends. I'm Taco, aka Crack Daddy, aka the singular ass hair, aka the real fat boy Slim. And we have my cousin Crotch Man, aka the Crotch from Manchester, pumping it like a porn star behind the camera. It's a bloody chilled week here in the land down under, guys, and Crotchman and I are feeling more relaxed than goat. So what better opportunity than to dive into one of our favorite shows of all time, and also one of our favorite Funko Pop lines to collect. <laughs> it's an absolute slapper today, my friends, and the show that I speak of is none other than The Simpsons, created by Matty Boy. Crotchman, swing it down, you mammal. Yes, my friends, The Simpsons being one of Crotchman and I's favorite shows of all time, we used to finish school, plaster our cracks on that seat and marathon this for hours, baby. We love the show, we love the characters, and best of believe we used to repeat these lines a thousand times a piece to our mates. I know you all do that too. So enough chit chat from this hairy sweaty boy. Let's plaster some solar panels on our bodies, fry up in the sun, bake these buns like a bakery, baby. Let's lift our pits in the air and get the whipper snipper and shave those hairs, my friends. Let's pump life like a porn star and I know I ain't talking explicit, baby. <laughs> yes! Like I said, I'm the singular ass hair, and yes, I want to be shaved. But first things first, baby, that new Loki series. Good, huh? Anyways, back in. And the first poppy we're having a look at today, my friends, is the double F. I'm talking the fine fanny. And the fine fanny I speak of today is none other than Chief Wiggum, AKA Clancy. Yes! And Crotchman and I love Chief Wiggum, guys. We love that he's fat aka a lard daddy. We love that he loves to eat and we love that he's horrible at his job. So he ticks all three of our pre precious boxes there, guys, that Crotchman and I live by. Chief Wiggum is a beast. He's funny and he's just a dopey guy. And I love how he resembles a pig, baby, but don't take my word for that, guys. Let's slap our tit, crack this unit and have a rip. Let's move, Crotch Daddy. Mm, mm, mm. Like I told you guys, Simpsons, we love it so much. Can't tell you. Ah. Chief Wiggum, AKA Clancy, baby. Let me slap him down. Have a look at that, guys. We love this variant here. He's got his donut in hand, half eaten, of course. He's got his cup of joe for the morning. His shoes are shine matching his shine police visor right there, baby. And you can't look past his hefty gut and his hefty side handles, baby. Even though his handcuffs and battering ram are trying to cover them, Clancy, we're seeing those handles and you're not fooling anyone. So Clancy, AKA Chief Wiggum, is kicking off this Simpsons epi strong today, baby. You fat son of a pig. Yes! Oh my sweet lords, Clancy Wiggum. Next one on the list, my friends, is none other than Montgomery Burns, AKA Monty Burns, AKA Vampire Mr. Burns. Special edition 2019 fall convention exclusive, baby. Look at those liver spots. Look at that pointed nose. Now we love Monty Burns, baby, even though he's a stingy bastard. He's a damn funny character in the show. My personal favorite episode of Mr. Burns is the one where he's the alien frolicking through the woods. Bloody hilarious, guys. But this one here, like I said, it's Vampire Mr. Burns. So let's have a rip and crack him right now. See if he uh, does the uh, show justice, baby. Because Mr. Burns is one of our favorite boys. Look at that, guys. Look at those two testicular sacks on his head right there. We've got liver spots. And Baby, the man wields fangs with his infamous Mr. Burns pose. Crotchman, swing it up at my tits. Yes. <laughs> Back down, Crotchman. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burns, guys, vampire variant. And if you remember in this particular episode, the man appears in a puff of smoke, which I think is really cool. Monty Burns, you're a beast, baby. Coming in number two. Now guys, these are in no particular order. We're just cracking them how they will. We love all these characters. We don't have the full set yet, guys, but we are working on it. Anyways, irrelevant. Back on. Third on this list today, my friends, is one of Crotchman's favorite Simpsons characters. I'm talking none other than Duffman, AKA Duffman. Ugh, Crotchman. What do you reckon of this beer drinking party animal? No, he's my inspiration, so he's love for the cans. I love him. You heard it there first, guys. This is where Crotchman got his love for the cans. Duffman, AKA Duffman. So we're gonna crack this party animal out of the box prison, guys, because he's itching to party. And this right here is a 10 out of 10 slapper, guys. We love Duff, man. We love what he stands for, just party and rowdy. Crotchman, take a look 
at this sexy animal right there. Shaved mammal, baby, shaved mammal. Yes, sir. Look at that, guys. He's got his duff cans on his belt. Easy access. He's got the infamous sunnies on. And I have to, I have to address this, baby. Pops with sunnies, immaculate. Adds a little bit of extra dimension to them. Makes my fanny tickle. And look at that, guys. He's got the infamous duff hat on. Immaculate, immaculate. Of course, the duff man cape. Who is duff man without his precious cape, baby? What a party goer, baby. What a party goer. In the land down under, guys, if you're this guy, you're respected highly because we love to party here in the land, guys. And best believe so does Duff Man. Coming in number three, my friends. Oh, yes! Number four. We're talking Millhouse, my friends. 2020 Spring Convention exclusive. Once again, wielding the glasses with that dropped ice cream, baby. What a loser. <laughs> but we love Millhouse, guys. He's just, uh, he's a lame character, but his lameness adds to the humor of it all. And, uh, yeah, who is Bart Simpson without his precious sidekick, Millhouse, baby? So let's crack Millie, boy, and uh, crack in between our cleavage, have a slap. Once again, have a rip, baby, and get our cracks oiled up. So, ooh. One of our first Simpsons poppies, actually, guys, was this Millhouse. I remember bringing it home, Crotchman losing his uh, tits, because it's quite a cool variant. If you, look at that, guys, he's even got a bit of ice cream on his gut there. And I love how all the Simpsons characters, minus a few skinny contenders like Mr. Burns, they all have guts, man. <laughs> It's like, that's where, that's where Crotchman and I really belong, guys. That's, I don't know if you guys haven't noticed, but our guts are pumping out of control like Snorlax, baby. These are jiggling like mammal here. So I've got to cover it sometimes. So yeah, guys, we really do believe we belong in Springfield because like I said, they all got guts, baby. And Crotchman and I, no exception to that. Millhouse, slap me raw, slap me good, baby. Mmm, yes, yes, sir. Going in with Millhouse, baby. Ooh, which one's next, Crotchman? I know. Mr. Plough! That's my name, that name again is Mr. Plough, baby. Crotchman has selected the man himself, the Plough Master, rival of the uh, Plough King, AKA Barney Gumble, you sack of Joe. Look at this, guys. This is actually one of my favorite Homer Simpson variants. Mr. Plough, classic episode. Classic episode, guys. You cannot look past Mr. Plough. That name again is Mr. Plough. Look at this, guys, infamous. One of the most notorious and most recognizable outfits in the Simpsons game, baby, Mr. Plow. Gut covered with Giacchetto. Hat, little earmuffs, baby, and of course, notorious. Crotchman, say the name. Mr. Plow. Oh, that name again is? Mr. Plow. <laughs> <laughs> baby, Mr. Bloody Plow right here. One of my favorite Simpsons variants, baby, and of course, the infamous Homer zigzag hairs. Love it, guys. Now, guys, we're only about a quarter way through, but how fun are these bloody poppies, guys? You can understand why we love Simpsons so much and collecting the Simpsons lines. They're just all around fun poppies, guys. Now, Otto Man, one of the most notorious bus drivers in the game. Second to none with the Billy Madison bus driver, guys, but Otto Man, he's a fine specimen right here. I wish my bus driver was like this when I used to go to school. Kind of looks like me, guys, looking at that rock and hair, listening to music. He's obviously tired or indulging in other activities. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, baby, Otto Man, notorious, baby, notorious. Let's crack the Otto Man. Probably one of the worst bus drivers in the history of any show, guys. This guy's a ruffian. And I don't know for a fact, if my kids had this as a bus driver, I'd probably join him, to be honest. <laughs> Bloody hell. Otto man, guys, rocking that Walkman right there. That's old school, baby. Old school. Look at that, he's jamming like a beast. He's obviously taking a couple of dingers right there. And he's just cracking it now. Look at that hair, guys, jungle. Judging from the length, I'm, I'm talking about four years, no cut, no cut. Look at that, guys, Otto man, what a fun variant here. Stand, boy, you're too tipsy. Yes, Otto Man. What a guy. What a bloody guy. And I was actually lucky with this one. Kochman and I got the final Otto Man. If we missed out on this Otto Man, my God, this would have gone in the crack. <laughs> Makes no sense. Sorry, guys. Anyways, back on. <laughs> Mo Bloody Sizzlack, baby. The owner of Mo's Tavern. And he's actually one of my favorite characters, guys. I know he doesn't make a bigger impact like some of the other characters, but damn, he's so pathetic and funny, man. I love Mo Sizzlack. He's always up to something dodgy. And just, <laughs> the guy's just trying to get through, baby. He's just trying to get through. And I'm talking Mo, 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 Mo. Have a gaze, guys. Look at this bad boy right here. Arms folded with the rag in hand. 
obviously wiping up after either Barney Gumble or Homer Simpson, guys. Mo Sizzlack is awesome. He's so funny. One of my personal favorite scenes, it's actually not a very big scene, but I just found it hilarious for some reason, is when Mo's in the back of the car and they knock on him because he uses an extension cord as a belt because he's too poor. And also when Lisa Simpson calls him and says, Mo, we're going to the cops, and he shoes away the pandas. Pathetic! But I love Mo Sizzlack, guys, and for that reason, he's coming in red hot in our first lineup of the day, baby. Sizzlack. Look at that receding hairline, too. That's mad. I like that. <laughs> very good. Very good. Ooh, the next character is one of Crotchman's actually number two. Top two, I should say, of The Simpsons, babe. I'm talking Barney Gumble, AKA the alcoholic. Look at this, guys, the town drunk himself. One of the finest and the funniest characters of The Simpsons scenes, guys, Barney Gumble. He's always doing some crazy stuff. You give the man a beer, he's completed. The man even went to space. <laughs> actually, no, he didn't, got foiled for that. But yeah, guys, Barney Gumble. Oh! If this did not tease you to drink when you were merely a 13 year old man, I don't know what will guys, because Barney made you thirsty, he made your palate dry, wanting some of that duff beer, baby. But don't take my word for it. Let's take him out and see if he entices you to wet your palates too, baby. Now, one specific thing that I love about this gamble right here, guys, is that translucent beer with the foam overflowing. Sweet mother of tits. This literally looked like Crotchman last weekend. Am I not wrong there, Crotch Daddy? You're not wrong, sir. That is him. That is him, guys. And no exception, like I've been saying with all the characters, guts coming out ferociously, baby. Get him on the side there, crotch, so you see that gut, I like it. And look at the back there, guys. Just like us, you've got the handles rocking out of control, jiggling over those pants. My God, Barney MF Gumble, baby. The town drunk. So far, we've got quite a lineup here. Before we proceed to the next ones, crotch, we give them a bit of a scope here, because we're, we're looking naughty. Now, this is the first time I've actually taken all of these Simpsons poppies out of the boxes, guys. So, it's exciting time. Don't mind my dog, he's just having a bit of a cough there. Ooh. Back on! Next one on our list, my friends, is none other than Comedy... Montana, man! Come on, man! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, we're looking at Comic Book Guy 2024 convention exclusive. Slap it down. You're basically looking at me and Crotchman here, guys. We are serious collectors, and if our pops could come in sleeves like this, best believe we'll be wearing gloves, too. We are... We love comic book guy. Look at him holding his uh, his comic there with the sleeve. Baby, what am I saying? Let's crack this unit now. Too much time being wasted on my staff. Look at that guys, comic book guy right here with the bongo comic in the sleeve. First edition, nice. And guys, this guy's taking it actually to the next level and his gut's actually hanging out of the shirt with a miniature ponytail there, of course, with the receding hairline. Mm. Guys, we're looking at a Victoria's Secret model right here. This is a fine fanny. A fine fanny right here, guys. We're gonna place it next to Barney Gumble. Put the box over here, because we're getting overflowed with plastic crotchman. Swing it down and show them the scene. It's messy, baby. It's messy. So we're gonna crack one more, and then we're gonna switch over to a very crucial break, my friends. And the last one we're gonna be looking at before this break is none other than Abe Simpson, AKA Grandpa Simpson, baby. What am I doing? Ah! Look at that, look at the wrinkly prune himself. Looking like Homer aged by 30 years, baby. And there was that episode where they actually pull his skin back and he does look like Homer. So that's bloody hilarious, guys. So let's crack Abe right here and have a gaze at what this old man has to offer us. No bubble head, still nice. There it is, guys, look at that. Abe Simpson. They've even given him the infamous liver spots like Montgomery, AKA Monty Burns. He's got a couple of hairs on the top there that he can comb like Yoda. And yeah, guys, he's wrinkly, but yet the old age doesn't exclude him from the gut. Like I said, the Simpsons, baby, you got guts left, right, and center. Abe Simpson. And that's the first lineup for today's episode, guys. If crotch me, if you swing it down there, you'll see we have a, quite a bit more to go through here, guys. But I want to give you guys a good scope of each of these Simpsons poppies in case you're interested in collecting the line or you just love to see them all together. But before we proceed, we're going to quickly switch over to a scene. Crotchman, crack it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! My heart, dude! <laughs> cut the scene, cut it! <laughs> my god! That's gotta hurt the old twig and berries, and I ain't talking blue. Back on, baby! And the next Simpsons poppy we're looking at today, my friends, is none other than the boy with the cookie duster on his lippy. I'm talking none other than Devil Flanders, baby! Yes! 
Crotchman and I love Flanders, guys. He's a straight shooter, but best believe he adds a bit of character to this uh, naughty show. And if you have a look here, this is the Devil Flanders variant from the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episodes, baby, which we look forward to every year. So without further ado, guys, let's crack this moustache bandit right now and have a gaze. Because uh, I'm seeing something here and I'm liking it. And you're about to see it yourselves, baby. But what I'm talking about here, my friends, loincloth. Have a look. He's hairy in the sack. He's hairy in the sack. I repeat, he's hairy in the sack and he's horny. Damn it, what a variant, guys. What a variant on the bush on lippy. And this is no exception, because he's, yes, bush on lippy, baby. And he's got his devil trident here, my friends. And of course, the devil's tail. And it's just funny, guys, because Ned Flanders is the last person on the planet you would expect to be the, uh, the underworld king himself. So we love this treehouse of horror, guys. And I don't think anyone expected uh, bad boy Flanders here with the loincloth to be the devil. So we're kicking it off. The second part of the episode, Ned Flanders, a.k.a. Stupid Sexy Flanders, baby. Back on. Next one, my friends, is none other than Rainier Wolfcastle playing the infamous... Radioactive man, baby. And I actually don't know if Rainy Wolfcastle is playing him in this variant. I just made that up just then because I thought it sounded good. Back on. Radioactive man, guys. Love him. One of the uh, fan favorite heroes from The Simpsons Ventures, baby. I know Bart Simpson is craving Radioactive Man. And I do love it when Rainy Wolfcastle plays Radioactive Man. And he can't say the lines properly. Up and at him. Up and at them. Bloody hilarious, baby. Anyways, let's unbox this unit right here. Because I've never opened Radioactive Man, and it's actually one of my favourite Simpsons variants, so... HOLY MOTHER OF SASQUATCH TIT! Back on! Trying to take out most Sizzlack. God damn! Really are Radioactive Men. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, guys. The infamous superhero himself with his signature... Ooh, got a bit of dribble on there, let me wipe him. Mm. <laughs> infamous, guys. Infamous. Radioactive Man himself. God damn, I don't have too much to say about Radioactive Man. Just best believe I do not like Radioactive Men in my house. <laughs> but bloody cool variant, guys. Like I said, I love the episode where Rainier plays this man right here, puts the goggles on to cover from the acid, but the goggles do nothing! They did nothing, guys. So we're kicking it off, Radioactive Man. Like I said, baby, if you're Radioactive Men, don't come in here. <laughs> Next up on the list, baby, Itchy. And who's Itchy? without Scratchy. God damn. Some of the uh, fan, I mean, not, not the fan favorites, the Simpson character's favorite cartoon, baby. Or should I say Bart Simpson and Milhouse's favorite cartoons, Itchy and Scratchy. The two little critters that absolutely punish each other. You think the words that come out of my mouth are gruesome? You should see how these two cheeky contenders take out one another, baby. It's gruesome stuff. So, Let's have a look at this right here, because I really love Itchy, guys. I've always loved Itchy. When the release of these pops were announced, god damn it, my tenderloins were sucking out of control. <laughs> sucking out of control. I don't know what that means, but damn it. Sounds powerful, guys. Itchy. Crotchman, swing your succulent tits down and take a scope of the scene, sir. Look at that, guys. He's got a big baton right there, ready to absolutely smash the sack off Scratchy. He's a dangerous little, little mouse there, guys, but don't underestimate our boy Scratchy here because the man's coming in with a mallet and he cannot stand, but he's got a stand. So I'm just going to hold him for a second because I don't want to get the stand out there because I'm a lazy fat boy. Yeah, look at that, guys. Itchy and or Scratchy. Two violent little contenders, baby. Very violent, very itchy. I'm <laughs> <laughs> going to pop these bad boys right there. Chuck this here. Once again, the scene's messy, baby, but I'm a messy boy. Back on! <laughs> And the next pop we're looking at today, my friends, have we even shown a Bart Simpson yet? Disgusting boy. Our first Bart Simpson of the day, baby. And I'm talking the Raven Bart from the Treehouse of Horror. Nevermore. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, where do I start with Raven Bart? Absolutely banging story. Banging episode this one was, my friends. And as you know, this uh, little raven right here made a couple of cheeky contenders go crazy. So let's crack this. This is actually my boy, uh, Dom. This is his favorite Simpsons variant. The man absolutely loves the Simpsons, guys. And I, I know you're watching right now, but about there, we got the raven, baby. We got the raven. Crotchman, pull out your nips and suck them. <laughs> Disregard my words, guys. Like I said, I'm a naughty fanny today. <laughs> Very naughty fanny. <laughs> and sometimes I like to try and make Crotchman laugh while he films, baby. Don't get my nut in a twist. 
<laughs> All right, guys, we've got Raven Bart right there, cracking it on the books, love that. Edgar Allan Poe, the man. Yes, 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 yes. Back on with a vampire crusty, baby. And all of you that know crusty out there, bloody hell, the guy's a mess. He chain smokes cigarettes like a mammal. He's looking rough, he's looking dirty, and his mouth spits out perfect. Actually, crusty is me. Holy crap. As I was listing that just then, baby, that ticked off the check boxes to my soul. Krusty the Clown is me, but don't take my word for it, let's crack him out and have a comparison, baby, because this is a naughty, naughty, bald-headed man. Yes. Actually, he's not fully bald, he's got a couple of spots, baby. Anyways, Vampire Krusty, guys. And out of this particular drop, oh, my sweet mother Abraham tits. Look at his shoes, man, they're, they're not straight, so the man cannot stand, or they've done this intentionally because he's tipsy on the cigs. So I'm going to put his box behind him there and have a, have a crack, guys. Have a bit of a rip at that one. Krusty the Clown, looking pale, looking naughty, Krusty being one of our favourites, every Simpsons character, like I said at the start baby, each one of them adds a little something something to the show, so we love them all baby, so you're going to hear me say that a lot today, but yeah guys, Vampire Krusty, one of the first ones to sell out from this particular drop, people seem to have loved this bad boy right here, and we're no exception baby, oh, yes, next one my friends, I'm going to swing it around here, so we've got another Bart Simpson variant, and in this case, we've got none other than Werewolf Bart, aka 2024 convention exclusive. Slap it there, Crotchman. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Hairy boy Bart. This looks like me after two weeks. No shave. Yes, no shave. Another Treehouse of Horror variant, guys. These are big hitters in the Simpsons field. We love Treehouse of Horror. And back in the day, when you got a Treehouse of Horror Eddie coming on, you, your heart jumps a knot. And best believe those McNuggets pile out of your crack daddy, baby. Got you excited back in the day. And the pops have no exception, baby. I see Treehouse of Horror Pop. I'm excited. I'm Randy. Once again, not like Orton. So, enough dilly dally from Sweaty Hairy Boy. Let's crack Werewolf Bart right here, my friends. This is the second last one we managed to get in the uh, the drop last year. Baby, we're feeling, feeling very blessed for this one here. Have a look at this, guys. One of my favorite Bart Simpson variants. Just so hairy, so tattered, so me. Yes. Look at that, guys. Bart Simpson, the naughty boy himself, the bad boy of the Simpsons. We all fell in love with that man and his cheeky antics. God damn it, crotch daddy. What do you reckon, a hairy boy? So hairy. So hairy. Does he need a shave? He does. He does, baby. And that brings us to the last poppy of this lineup. I'm talking Donut Head Homer, and if you remember about, oh bloody hell, many episodes ago, you'll remember we took this beast out and we lotioned his donut head for suppleness. So, we're not going to lotion him today, but we definitely most certainly are cracking him out to have a look at the suppleness that we created, Burb. Have a gaze at this. Come here, hairy boy. Slap it for your fat-headed dad. Yes, one of the best Treehouse of Horror variants known to man. I think we all remember when Marge Simpson stops, tells him to stop picking at himself because the man started to eat his own head. If you all know Homer, he loves his donuts, baby. The man even got sent to hell, got punished by eating all the donuts in the world, and the man finished every single one. So this uh, was a very fitting punishment for his crimes that day at the Treehouse of Horror, baby. Sweet mother of Abraham, tit crossed with frozen Yeti nipples, baby. I like it, and I'm ready. And that's the second wave, baby. Like I said, Crotchman, swing it here. We still got a, another eight uh, Simpsons poppies. We're gonna be cracking, baby. Let me do a little thrust. Yes. So we've got, we got those to go still, guys, but second wave right here, Crotchman, bang it down, bang it good. Bang it like a star of raunch. Yes, guys, these Simpsons poppies look absolutely amazing out of box. They're bright, they're colourful, they're fun. And guys, like I said, there's 700 plus episodes, baby. This, this, this show premiered 89. So you can imagine how many variants they can actually make. And Crotchman and I are really hoping for four variants. We want Patty and Selma, and we want Lenny and Carl, baby. We love those characters, so hopefully we see that next. Anyways, baby, before we finish off with the last eight Simpsons poppies, we're gonna switch over to another very irrelevant scene to bring a tear to your eye. So crack your nippies, baby, because we're on. Hey mate, how are you? Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, sorry man, sorry dude. Oh, sorry man. Wow! Dude, dude, dude. sorry man. It's <laughs> hilarious. Crack Daddy back on for the final eight poppy, my friends. So let's give him a crack, give him a rip, and let's go in. 
And the next Simpsons poppy we're having a gander at today, my friends, is none other than Marge Simpson as a witch. Another treehouse variant for your tits, baby. Yes! Look at this succulent piece right here, guys. This is the first Marge we're looking at today. And best believe we love Marjorie, baby. You can't look past Marge, the mother of the Simpsons. This lady, you could basically say, once again, started the full Monty, baby. Yes, she started the full Monty, and I'm digging that green skin there, baby. Very vibrant, very Marjorie. So let's give her a crack right now and have a gaze and see if this uh, witch variant matches up and does justice to the show, baby. Because when it comes to Treehouse of Horror, you can't play no games, baby. That's a sack blower. Anyways, back on, baby. And I like how this one comes ready on the stand. Look at this succulent piece right here, guys. And if you have a gaze, I like what they've done with the hair here, guys. Converting it from that traditional blue to this pine cone looking witchcraft broom wielding beast. Look at this sexy girl right here, guys. Love bit of Marjorie. I wish we had an OG variant of Marge. Best believe we will obtain it one day, guys. Crotchman and I dabble in multiple lines. Making it hard to complete sets every now and again because we're dabbling too damn hard like a bloated cow with Adda. We go in hard, guys. But yeah, kicking off the final stage of this epi, we've got Marge as the witch, baby. Let's crack her down here. And going next to the stingy bastard himself, variant number two, once again, baby, Montgomery Burns, a.k.a. Mr. Burns, a.k.a. Stingy Bastard. Yes. Guys, I can't say it enough. We love Montgomery, baby. We love a bit of Montgomery. And I'm gonna drop it now. Give us a Smithers, baby. Who is Mr. Burns without Smithers? Give us a Smithers, baby. And if you're gonna give us a Smithers, please do a uh, Funko movie moment scene where Mr. Burns is flying in through the window naked and, and Smithers is in the bed going, Aw. we want that, baby. That rolls our tits like tornado. So Funko, please give us a Smithers. And if you're gonna give us a Smithers, give us that exact movie moment scene, baby, because we crave it. Or Mr. Burns coming out of the birthday cake, baby. What another erotic scene. Anyways, guys. Stock standard OG Mr. Burns. Look at that, liver spots cracking out of control. He's doing his infamous excellent with the finger, uh, the finger touches. I don't even know what to call that, baby. It's been a long day in the paint. And I ain't talking Giannis. <laughs> Look at that, guys, not Comrade Burns. <laughs> what do you reckon, Crotch Daddy? Do you like the stingy man himself? I do, sir. Yes, Mr. Burns, guys. Love Mr. Burns. All right, stand up, skinny boy. I would also love a Mr. Burns uh, alien variant, guys. Like I said at the start of the episode where he's frolicking through the woods, baby, looking like he's on crack. Let's move. Next one on the list, my friends, another Bart Simpson variant, but this one, pretty stock standard. We got Gamer Bart here, guys. One of my least favorite in the Simpsons set. I think this uh, could have had a bit more action done to it. It's pretty stock standard, but at the end of the day, I still love it, baby, because it's a bit of bat. Eh? Love a bit of bat from a crack. Anyways. Like I said, baby, let's slap this box, crack him open, put him up our Gooches and move. Because the Gooch is ignited right now. <laughs> it's ignited and we're fired up, baby. So we're going to crack this Bart and move with the Gooch. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Got the headset. Looks like me at work. Minus the controller there, baby. It's actually quite a cute variant when you take him out of the box. Which is why I can't stress it enough, baby. Don't hate me now. Please, baby. Even if you're an inbox collector like us, guys, take him out and give him a crack every now and again. Give him a rip. Because you fully can't appreciate the, the entirety, entirety, entirety of the pop without taking it out of the box here, guys. Because like I said, look, this was my least favourite variant of taking him out. I like it. It's miniature and it fits right up my poop. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> game of art, guys. One last gander at him before we move on. Like I said, we've got to get through this like Vin Diesel on the NOS, baby, because I've shown a lot of popper here today and I don't want to use too much time. Anyways, let's move. Next one on this crack factory, my friends, we've got Jack in the Box Homer. Mmm, another treehouse variant for your tits, baby. You know the succulent one. Look at those zigzag hairs. Stylish. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's crack this open because this is another impeccable, ugh, another impeccable treehouse of horror variant for my crack daddy. I like this one here, baby. I love all homers. And like I said, baby, the, the Treehouse of Horror variants just add a bit of cumin spicy to the uh, to the mixture there, baby. Puts a bit of uh, pepper on the roast in the oven. I like it, and it adds spicy. Another Treehouse variant, baby. Jack in the Box Homer. Love this, looks like you can wind the beast, but you can't. Would have been cool if this was a bobblehead bandit, considering the man's head is on spring. That would have been so cool. But I still highly appreciate this poppy here, guys. Love me some Homer Simpson, the fat lard daddy himself. Mm. Love it, baby. Crotch Daddy. 
Would you lubricate this, shave your tit, and put it in between the cleavage crack? Definitely, sir. Excellent. You heard it here first, guys. If you're going to pick up one of these Simpson poppies today, get this one, because it's going in between the cleavage crack. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Alrighty, guys. Down to the final four Simpsons fantastical titty. And the next one we're going to choose today, we'll go in with another Bart Simpson, baby. And we're talking here, Gangster Bart, baby, the mafia bandit himself in that blue crispy suit. Yes, sir, Reeve Bob. Slice my tits open and wax them for Nelly. But well, guys, can we crack this? Because this is a looking like a fly man right here, baby. A gangster, if you will. One of the uh, criminal organizational bats. Anyways, guys, I'm delusional. Let's gaze this uh, spiky head bad boy right here in his mafia form. Love it. Love it. Stylish, crispy boy. Stylish, crispy boy. Eyes lowered. Maybe tipsy. Who knows? But look at that there, guys. What I like about this, that suit. It's fitting too good, actually. And if you see, it's actually uh, hugging the gut real nice there, guys. Circular, looking like a mini Homer Simpson, Simpson baby, all day. <laughs> Bit of gangster butt for your tits there, baby. Bit of gangster butt for my tit. Anyways, guys, we're down to the final three. My energy levels are going low, baby, and I don't like to do them cut scenes. So we're just gonna go right into this right now. Lords, give me the power of the breast. Back on. And the next one, baby, we're looking at another Bart Simpson variant for your cracky. Spaceman Bart, another ho a tree house of horror for your tits, baby. This one's really cool, actually. I, I love when the, uh, they step outside the boundaries here and add a bit of extra dimension to the poppy, baby. And as you can see, this space suit does just that. So let me uh, obtain this succulent boost with my oily hands and crack him like a warm... Mm. Let's have a look, guys. Like I said, baby, this is the third last one. Hang your tits out, baby. Hang them out. Oh my God, this is literally the first half. This is impeccable, impeccable. Thank you, lords. Anyways, back down there, baby. Have a look at this base. Do you expect it to look like that, Crotch Daddy? It's oh, so sick, man. It's actually really sick. Yeah. Like I said, guys, Crotch and I haven't taken majority of these pops out, so this is actually the first time we're looking at this Bart right here, and I honestly had no idea that this helmet was of this stature, baby. That's, that's hefty, Crotchman. Uh, this actually, this is a very unique Simpsons pop. Now look at it outside the box, baby. And I think you can all agree, if we take this succulent slice of erotica right here and do a comparison to all of these, baby, there is no comparison. This helmet is, is not to be tampered with, you sexy son of a sex. Baby, what a piece. We're gonna put that right there, super impressed, guys. Another confirmation proof that you need to take them pop out of the box. <laughs> All right, baby, oil my crack up and get the truffle butter because we're down to the final two poppy. And let me tell you this, baby, they're igniting the gooch like man. Yes, and the next one, my friends, we've got USA Homer. Cracking those colors, patriotic fat boy. Yes, sir. Love this variant, baby. Very bright, very colorful. Crotchman and I, our dream is to visit the States one day, so best believe this is plucking our sacks to the core, making our heartstrings uh, vibrate like violin. Love this one right here, baby, and I've always wanted to take this one out, didn't want to damage it a bit, but today, I'm gonna crank my nipple to the core and crack this guy out of the box. I'm, I'm tickled, I'm, I'm craving. Crotchman, I'm running out of breath. What do you reckon of this nerdy boy? Oh, it's a sexy poppy. Sexy poppy, guys, and if, uh, you have a look at Crotchman right now, the man is drenched. He is sweating like a man. The guy is uh, constantly on the uh, squat, getting these close-ups, baby. He's on the movement. These videos are actually our workout, guys, and me and Crotchman, we don't go to the gym, so this is, uh, oh, this is our exercise for the week, baby, best believe. Last poppy, baby. Don't take my tits now, Nelson, because I love them. And the pop that I speak of today, my friends, is another Bart Simpson slapper for your tit. Zombie Bart, baby. Dig it. Dig it. Now, I, I, I find that a lot of the zombie uh, poppy variants are very big hitters in the game, especially the Marvel zombie range, guys. We've uh, personally stopped collecting the Marvel zombie range, but I'm loving the look of this zombie Bart right here, guys. You can't look past that. Like I said, the Treehouse of Horror variants, baby. Get a bit of spice, get a bit of chili, dabble them onto your tits, because that's what you get with these. So, let's crack this last poppy for the day, absorb him into our breasticles and our souls, and crack on with the week, my friends, because it's a good life, good collectings. One out of box look at our boy here on the skateboard, baby. God, you've got to have a look at these out of the box. I'm, I'm so disgusted in myself that this is the first time we're actually taking these bad boys out. 
It's disgusting. And matter of fact, after this, Crotchman and I are heating up a nice piece of iron and branding our asses, baby, for punishment. Because <laughs> we've disgusted ourselves as collectors to not take these out, guys. But today, we made history and we slapped out all of our Simpsons poppies. Crotchman, give them a final scope of the sand while I clear my tit. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys, it's been a fun episode today. Like I said, Crotchman and I, it's a very chilled week here in the land down under for us, so we woke up today, we're like, what a better opportunity than to slice and cut a cake that we're digging, baby. And I'll tell you what, we're digging this, guys. So if you haven't bought any Simpsons Pops already, I highly encourage you guys, go out there, have a dabble, have a crack, because these Pops are a lot of fun, guys. Some of the pots I've been seeing recently, very small percentage, very plain, very stock standard, but I can tell you now, no Simpsons pops come out like that. Every single one of them down to the core, vibrant, fun, and just, uh, this is a collector's item, baby. This is a fun collecting item. This is, I'll never get bored of collecting Simpsons. I can talk for Crotchman and say that too, because baby, these are tantalizing slices for our tits. Now guys, that's us for the day. I hope you stay safe wherever you are in the world. Crotchman and I are just two normal dudes in the field, baby, just cracking and having a good time. Now we're not about numbers, guys, but if you do enjoy what we put out there and you wanna be a part of this community, please click that subscribe button, baby. Click that like button and drop us a nice comment, guys. Like I said, all we're trying to do is build a funny community where we can have a laugh and just not take things too serious because collecting is about having fun, baby, and that's what we're trying to preach our tits. Have fun, have a crack, have a rip, baby. So stay safe, guys. I'll see you in the next few days. The next uh, few epics should be quite interesting, baby. And we've got Crotchman's birthday next week, so keep your eyes peeled for that and get your cracks ready, baby, because it's going to be a wild time. We're going to vlog the whole thing. See you later, baby.